how to add products to your Wix site. Hey everyone and welcome, I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll show you all you need to do uh, in order to actually add your products. So it is very simple, it's a very simple process. So let's just go ahead and get to it. But before we do that, I need to note two different things. One is that it is not Wix Studio that I'm about to showcase how to add products for. It's going to be for the default Wix site. So just keep that in mind because it says Wix Studio on the top left and I don't want you to interpret that differently. So for the default Wix site. Okay, and the second thing is that before we actually set up our products, you actually want to go to settings for your Wix dashboard after you open it up. And then you want to click on accept payments. And once this loads in, you just need to ensure that you set up your payment methods. So this is going to look different for you probably if you're in a different location. For us in the UAE here, we have Stripe as the main one for um, credit and debit card payments. So basically, if you don't know what this is, it's for accepting payments and you know allowing people to actually pay for them. So make sure you're also on the premium plan in order to set up the payments. So otherwise, you're not going to get any payments. PayPal and so on. So just go ahead and set up the proper different methods that you want to set up. And this way people can actually pay you. Not to mention if you want to do physical products, you're also going to need to set up more um, settings here when it comes to shipment and different things. So without going into much detail about that aspect of things, to add products, you want to go to the home page and click on edit site from the top right or just basically open up your site editor. Um, and once this opens up, I'm just going to show you exactly what you need to do next. Okay, so once your editor loads in, basically uh, with the Wix, like within Wix itself, you're not going to be able to add products right away. You actually need to install an app, which is also made by Wix, but it, it's a must to install it. So uh, in order to do so, once you open up your editor, just go to add apps from the left dashboard. And once you click on that, you want to go to the app market and basically search for Wix stores. And you should find it right away, which is the uh, blue bag or the white bag in a blue background. It's going to be this one right here. So once you find it, just basically click on add to site. And this should take a little bit of time, but it should add it to your site. And now you're going to have the ability to add and sell products on your Wix store. Not only, not only that, but it's actually going to create different um, pages for you, for your store. So you, it's going to create a category page. It's going to create the uh, main product page and also the catalog where people can just browse all the products that you have. So it's going to take a little bit of time here, but it's not going to take too long, hopefully. I actually spoke way too soon. It took a lot of time because there was a glitch happening and I had to do a lot of stuff anyway so once it's fully added to your site we can safely just save and once we save we can simply exit out of here and go back to the wix dashboard or actually just go to uh, our site dashboard so let's just go ahead and open up our site okay so once we open up our site dashboard you may notice that we have a few th new things here uh, but most importantly, we have the catalog option here in the dashboard, which was not here before. So we basically just want to click on it. And once we click, uh, click on it, it should take us to the product page here. And in the product page, it's going to showcase all the different sample products that uh, Wix pretty much adds here for you. So you can test things out with them. Uh, you can feel free to obviously just delete all of them. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep them. Uh, because I may, you know, use them for something else right now. But if you want to, you can just highlight all of them like so and just click on delete or just delete them one by one if you want to. Now, in order to actually add your own products, it's very simple. You want to go to this page, exact one catalog, store products and products. And then basically click on new product from the top right. This is going to allow you to add either a physical product or a digital file. So I'm just going to go for digital file for the time being. Click on that. And this is going to allow us to add our product. So we're going to first give it a title. So you obviously want to give your product a title. So I'm just going to name it test product one. And then here you're going to upload the actual digital file which you want to sell. So just go ahead and click on upload file and select the type of file that you want to upload. So I'm just going to upload an image. 
as if you know I'm, I'm going to actually sell an image here and click on upload upload from computer and let's just add anything here as an example let's just add this one once this loads in we can just highlight it and click on add to product and now that we have set up uh, set up this we can feel free to scroll down and add some basic information we have the name of the product here which we already set up if you want to set up ribbons you can feel free to do so if you want to add a description or not really if you want to i think descriptions are mandatory at this point just describe exactly what you are selling for people this way you can uh, let uh, people know exactly what they're purchasing so make sure you add um, a description here a fully detailed description and then you also can feel free to add images and videos to review uh, the so people can review the uh, why did I just lose my brain here? The actual product that they wanted to buy, basically. And once you do that, you can even set up the pricing, which is, you know, you can go for any currency that you are, is going to go for any currency that you're currently residing in the location of. Uh, my English is just broken at this point. And you can even set them to be on sale if you want to. So if it's on sale, you want to set up the discount here by percentage or flat amount. Uh, if it's a flat amount, you just want to ensure you select the currency. And if it's a percentage, you obviously want to go for the percentage. And then you would want to set up the sale price at the end here. So default price, sale price, so before and after, and the discount. So you can feel free to do that. And also you can set up the track inventory. So you can add, for example, 50. So this way, if you know we have 50 of the image that we want to sell, usually, usually this is going to be for uh, physical goods, but I guess you can still do it for a digital product. And if somebody purchases one image, then it's going to automatically be 49 left. And you can also set up uh, stock keeping units here if you want to, it's up to you. Once this is done, you can just click on save. I need to give it a price here. Click on save. And once it's saved, it's pretty much going to be listed within the products uh, of your store. So if people go to the all products page, it's going to be listed there. And same goes for the physical product here. If you just click on save uh, or not save, if you click on physical product, you're going to find obviously the almost the same uh, information that you need to fill out, like the pricing, the uh, track inventory, the uh, product options, like variants and stuff, and also images and videos for them. Now, what people can do is actually go ahead and open up your site. And by the way, you can add as many products as you want from the catalog section here. Just always go to store products, products, and add whatever type of products that you want. And basically, people are going to find it within the uh, your Wix website, within the catalog page or the shop page, which should be added for you automatically once you actually install the uh, app as you can see here we have a new menu icon which sh uh, not icon but option which is shop so if you just click on preview and click on shop this is going to take us to the all products page and then from here people can just access any product including the test product that we just added it does not have an image because we did not upload an image for it the image that we uploaded for it was the actual product itself so it's not going to you know showcase so with that, this is pretty much how to set up or add products to your Wix website. Hopefully this was easy enough for you to follow and hopefully you found it to be helpful and thanks for watching.